are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Shalom in the name of Jesus Christ. You're welcome to the broadcast in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let there be light with the Holy Ghost. Chimezie, Kingdom, Freedom, and Wisdom, and my wife, Margot Shata, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. And today is our 161st live parliamentary broadcast on Holy Ghost Parliament in Jesus' name. I say shalom, shalom in Jesus' name. It's the 31st of July, 2021, in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that God that has brought us this far will take us further in the name of Jesus Christ. That the remaining five months of this year will be easy months in Jesus' name. They will be sweatless months. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Holy Ghost will go ahead of us. He has gone ahead of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Like I always say, I'm here with the elders of the land. Holy Spirit, I say welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. You are welcome. You are welcome. R Lord, speak through my mouth again Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Testify through my mouth in Jesus' name. We have been called to bear witness. Bear witness through our mouths in Jesus' name. Amen. And you'll never be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, take the glory in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Let's jump into the Psalms. 119, 97, 200. He says, Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers. For thy, my, thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. My Father, thank you in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. We give you glory and honor. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name that sings my soul. My Savior God today, how great thou art, how great thou art, how great. My soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art, how great thou art. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let's enjoy some, like I always say, spiritual foreplay before we jump in for an intimate spiritual intercourse with the world in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And today's topic, the Lord has titled it. Holy Spirit, my iron dome. But before we go there, we will go through some spiritual foreplay in Jesus' name. May the Lord be glorified. On Sunday, last Sunday, a Jewish lady asked a question. And here is her question. She said, imagine if you woke up tomorrow with only the things that you thanked God for today. What would you have? It's a question for meditation. What would you have? If you woke up today with only the things you thank God for, you woke up today with only the things you thank God for yesterday. What would you have? That is why you must thank God. And it's yell, extend from FCJ by the grace of God in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And by the grace of God, next week we are abroad in the name of Jesus Christ. By the message of God, next week we are abroad. Uh, my, fa my family is going away to Poland in Jesus' name. And I'm going to the land of my birth. May the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. Let's appreciate God in Jesus' name. Let's appreciate God. He will be glorified in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, my family, they are going to Poland. They are going to enjoy their grannies and their grandpas and grandmas. And I'm telling you, we have awesome times in Poland. I'm telling you, you know. <laughs> I'm telling you, if I had a choice, I would have been heading that direction. But may the Lord be glorified. God gave me an assignment. I must do it in Jesus' name. May the Lord be glorified. And today, a bishop invited me for his 20th anniversary as a bishop. 
Um, I'm not able to be there. I thought I'll be there, but I, I, I didn't realize it clashed with our time, you know. And I we met him two years ago in Iceland. I and my son we met him there at the studio in Iceland, and I'm just apologizing by the grace of God that I will not be able to make it, you know. Um, may the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. And I'm sure my Icelandic people will be there. I would have loved to be there, but I, I can't make it in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So thank God for that in Jesus' name. Last week, my wife said to me, please don't change. She was just meditating, talking about, uh, we're on our way home, and she was just talking about um, uh, the way we preach by the grace of God, the way we uh, do our ministrations. And I said to her, change for what? Or change for who? You, you, know, uh, you, uh, they are, they are, you know, when God has put a passion in your heart, a real passion. Nobody can kill it in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't. You, that's that is why we don't do eye service. You don't need to do eye service. Can, can I say that my the, the time here is not showing? The time here is not showing, so I don't even know what time it is or uh, how long we have. May the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. When man employs you, he can sack you any day. When man employs you, he can sack you any day. He can wake up and say, "Oh, I don't like the way you preach today," but thank God that God employed us. In the name of Jesus Christ. So the only no man, no man, man can sack me from here, or from any platform God has given us. It's only God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we we seek to do what He has called us to do. It's not easy sometimes. Sometimes He gives us strange, strong words. It is true. I know. I know. But we have to say it. And then sometimes I see people, uh, they, they are happy with you today. Tomorrow, you after preaching, they are not happy with you again. But what can I do? May the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say, God is my direct employer. And I cannot be sacked by a man, man in the name of Jesus Christ. That is why we don't do eye service. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Thank you, Papa. That's awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. We've been there. But sometimes they can be wrong. It is true. Sometimes they may be wrong. Paul corrected Peter. <laughs> Sometimes they may be wrong. Respect is reciprocal. You sack people who serve your ministry and make them immediately homeless. I don't think it's right. You call them unfruitful, barren. You call them blatant failure. I don't think it's right. What is wrong is wrong. No matter the culprit. No matter the status of the culprit. Uh, you, those who understand, understand. Jesus was praying while his disciples were sleeping. He didn't fire them. He didn't sack them. <laughs> I asked some people, I said, the disciples of Jesus couldn't cast out demons sometimes. He didn't fire them. May the Lord be glorified. They were still learning from him. They were there learning from him. He taught them. May the Lord be glorified. A man employed by God cannot be sacked by man. It is true. That's why I said I said it on previous broadcasts before. Pastors call pastors sometimes. That is not God that called them. The God allows the grace to work. But it's not God that called. It's a different thing that God calls you. You operate by his standards. No man will dictate to you. It is true. It is true. When men call you, you can be sacked any day. I say no job security. Who is your employer in the ministry? If you are in the ministry, who is your employer? Who called you? Is it God or pastor? If you can be sacked by a man, you are not employed by God. You know, before ministry, many, many pastors, they will see me, they say, Oh, the call of God is on you. The kingdom will call on you. We'll obey him. He will call on you. You have the call. You have the strong unction. I see a shining light on you. So many things. There's nothing I didn't hear before ministry. And I said to people every time I had those things, I, I, maybe I visited the church and then the pastor, in fact, in fact, there was one. I went there. I, we hadn't sat down. The woman started, are you a pastor? I said, no. I, I said, no. And she started, the kingdom will call on you. Yeah? And everybody there, I was so embarrassed. Everybody was looking at me. And I came there for issue. I came there with issue. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm telling you. But I tell people, I say, until I hear God for myself, I will not answer. It is a different thing when pastors say, oh, God will call on you. Just jump, run, run into ministry. I, until I had him, I did not answer because he had not called me. He only told them to tell me they, that he will call me. So I, I'm preparing my mind. I'm prepared. By the grace of God. May the Lord be glorified. Amen. Even 1995, my bishop, my bishop, 1995, he told my parents, he saw us. I and him on evangelism on a boat. Mm. Yes. And he said, My parents were not there. And he was wondering where they were. May the Lord be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You need to hear God before you answer any call. If you don't hear God, Pastor is calling you. May the Lord be glorified. Let's move in in Jesus' name. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our TV here is not working. Please, can you put it on? We need to know our time. Holy Spirit, my iron dome, Romans 8 14, it says, As many as are led by the Spirit of God. 
they are the sons of God. God's spirit is identified as the leader. A leader or the leader, the leader. A leader leads from the front. A leader leads. David led from the front. A leader leads from the front. Paul, the original Paul, my ancestors, Paul and David, they led from the front. Sometimes I still disagree with Paul sometimes. It's not everything Paul wrote that I accept. I accept. It is true. It is true. Some, somebody will hear it now and say, you are confusing the church. I'm not. I say, it's not everything he wrote that I agree with him. 1 Corinthians 4, 16, Paul said, follow me. Be thou followers of me. 1 Corinthians 11, 1, Paul said, be thou followers of me and as I follow Christ. Why would I follow Paul instead of following Christ directly? I've always asked that question. Philippians 3, 17, Paul said, follow me. Why should I follow Paul instead of Christ? Instead of Christ. That's, that's why you have the, what's that church in Iceland? The church, the big one. Do you remember that church? Uh, I forgot what they call it, man. Ah, Lutheran, Lutheran yeah, church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, Lutheran church, yeah. Uh, you see the way he pronounced it, Lutheran. <laughs> <laughs> May the Lord be glorified. You know, I'm from Africa. May the Lord be glorified in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, why should I follow Paul when I should be following Christ? Paul knows the way, but Christ is the way. I follow Christ directly. I follow Christ directly. The missile of wrong, wrong leadership, ha, the missile of misleadership, we intercept it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We intercept it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But Paul corrected himself in Ephesians 5 1, where he said, Follow God as their children. A leader protects. The leader you follow is the leader that will protect you. Follow Paul for you. You, 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 you should expect that Paul will protect you. You don't follow Paul and expect Christ to protect you. Of course, you, 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 they have leaders. But when you are following the leader, you don't follow the leader like a dumb, like a dummy. You follow the leader with knowledge, knowing that my leader is God. My leader is God. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say you don't follow Paul and expect protection from Christ. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. thank you for protecting me. Thank, thank you for protecting me. Particularly, particularly, more importantly, more and, importantly and, especially, and especially, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus. Proverbs 21 verse 31, it says, The horse is prepared against the day of battle, but safety is of the Lord. The iron dome reduces the work of the bomb shelter. I've been, I've been in those areas, I know. The iron dome reduces the work of the bomb shelter. If the iron dome doesn't work, the bomb shelter will or may suffer in Israel. The iron dome is always on ground to intercept air missiles, rockets. If your air defense is porous, the ground will suffer. If your air defense is porous, the ground will suffer. That's why Satan is called the prince of the power of the air. The prince of the power, Ephesians 2.2. The prince of the power of the air. The Holy Spirit is our air defense system, our iron dome. You know, sometimes you hear about Russian warplanes trying to test uh, Britain's resolve. Trying to test Britain's resolve. They come very close to British airspace. Just to look for trouble, just to test Britain's resolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Russian air. And then the uh, RAF jets are scrambled to ward off such threats. If your air defense is not solid, the ground will suffer. Our fight is in the airwaves. Our fight, our every fight you are fighting is in the airwaves. The airwaves and the airways. It is true. Spiritual wickedness is in high places. It's in the airwaves. Ephesians 6.12 That is why people fight to get the visa. They fight. They have to fight. Especially when you're coming from the background where some of us came from. You fight. Some of them, they apply 10 times, 20 times, 15. No visa. It's an air fight. It's a battle in the air. <laughs> because you are trying to conquer the air. You are looking for a visa to take off. And they don't want you to take off. The prince of the power of the air. Even some people, some people get visa. I know some people get that got visa and their visa expired in their hand. No money to buy the ticket. Pa prince of the power of the air. That's what you're fighting. Because the ticket is too expensive and they couldn't afford it. Our fight is airborne or airbound. You fight in the air or you are bound in the air. You fight in the air because you are bound in the air. Jude 120. 
building up yourselves in your most holy faith, faith praying in the Holy Ghost. You pray up. You build up. Buildings are built up. Houses are built up. Our fight is in the air. Hi. Many laid foundations couldn't complete. They laid foundations couldn't complete. You're fighting for the, uh, the uh, airways. We are praying. I intercept every missile. Pray in Jesus' name. I'm rockets, I'm rockets. Of, incompleteness. of incompleteness. I intercept you now intercept in the name of now. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Holy, Spirit, Holy Spirit, remain my interceptor. Remain, remain my builder. Remain, remain my shelter of defense and offense. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, I wear you as my iron dome. I wear you as my bomb shelter. I wear you as my bulletproof, bulletproof mobile abode. And I wear you as my pilot and my satna. I intercept and destroy spiritual rockets of ignorance, of disunity, of infertility, of lack, of infirmities in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our time is not showing. I'm just walking by faith. Our time is not showing at all. Ephesians 1.13 he says, you will are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. You will are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 4.30 The Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Thank you. Unto the day of redemption. You are sealed. You are sealed. That's what he says. Amplify uses the word. Stamped. Owned. Protected. Sealed. Marked. And branded by God. Because of the Holy Spirit. Because of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we are praying from visual knowledge. From physical knowledge and from spiritual knowledge. You know John 14, 26. He says, he says the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. He didn't say he will teach you scriptures only. He said all things. All things. He didn't say scriptures only. We are going to pray. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I wear you I as you. my iron dome. I wear you as my bomb shelter. As my bomb I wear you as my bulletproof mobile abode. Mobile abode. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. I wear you as my mobile defense system. Missile defense system. In the name of Jesus Christ. In all my ways, I intercept every missile of disability. Every missile of disability, I am enabled by God. I will not be disabled in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, enable me. I intercept every missile of localness and limitedness. Limitedness. I will not be limited and I will not be local. My location will not be local. I convert my location to around the world. Pray. I convert my location to around the world. Where are you based? Global. Where are you based? Around the world. Full stop. Where are you based? It's a local question. But you don't you shouldn't answer it locally. If you say you are based in London or New York or whatever, that's a local answer. It's a local answer. It's a local answer. Because it's a location. You are talking, you are mentioning locations. Huh? Around the world, nobody can say, oh, it's here or here. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's true. Local is not me. Say local is not me. Local is not I'm wearing the Holy Ghost. I'm the Holy Ghost. And he is everywhere. And he is everywhere. Everywhere. Wherever I am, the Holy Ghost is there. Wherever I am, the Holy Ghost is there. I cannot be local. That is why, that is why I called him, I gave him a son name. You remember? Holy Ghost. I say no disrespect, just pure love. Holy Ghost Okonkwo. We are growing global. We are growing global. Say it. For the Lord Jesus Christ. We are growing global. My location is global. My location is around the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As it's 39 to 40. It says the spirit of the Lord cut away Philip. That's 39. Cut away Philip. And verse 40 says, Philip was found at Azotus. We're going to pray. The time disappeared again. But may the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. We will defeat the devil. We are defeating him already. We defeated him already. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any crash. Any crash. Planted on our ways. Planted on our ways. Any crash.
crashed, crashed. planted on our ways yeah. in the air, in the land, air. land, sea, sea. Rail, rail, wherever, wherever. we intercept you in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, crash. Crash. You will not happen. You will not happen. In, the In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Catch, us away. Catch us away. To safety. To safety. In, the In the name of Jesus Christ. You see, he caught Philip away. Catch us away in Jesus' name. In, to safety. As I travel. As I travel. As I travel. Pray in Jesus' name. As I travel, as I travel. Spirit, of Spirit of the Lord, turn me into another man. Turn me into another man. Turn me into another man. Turn Lord, Lord God Almighty, Lord God Almighty. Give, me give me another heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what he said about uh, Saul in 1 Samuel 10, 6 and 9. Yeah? May the Lord be glorified. Amen. John 3, 8. It says, everyone born of the Spirit is like the blowing wind. This time, be corrected now. We should begin to dis display it now in Jesus' name. No known direction. No known direction. May the Lord be glorified. May the Lord Almighty be glorified. Read that 3.8. That is the one I want us to read. Read it. I love that scripture so dearly. John 3.8. John 3.8. Yeah, thank you very much. You show the it again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear it sound. You hear the sound. But you cannot tell where But it you cannot tell where, where it's going to. Or where it's going to. <sighs> So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. They will hear our sound. They will not know our directions in Jesus' name. You know, I said it on uh, this thing. And I didn't have this scripture in mind when I said it on that video. That was like two years ago in Nigeria. I did a video. And I said and I, and I said on that video, I say I'm like the wind. You can't catch me. The Lord be glorified. In the name, I speak by the, by the message of God. Not by my own power. Not by my own authority. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Everyone born of the Spirit is like the blowing wind. No known direction. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Host yes. us on our ways. Host us on our ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Host us in unpredictable directions. Unpredictable directions. The enemy will not know our ways. The enemy will not know our ways. They will hear our sound. They don't know where we are coming from and where we are going. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, order our steps order our like, God's like God's invisible wind. In Yeshua's name, we pray. Holy Ghost, grant us access, unhindered access, wherever, whenever we need access, according to your word in Ephesians 2 8, 18. In the name of Jesus Christ, grant us access. Access. In the name, unhindered access. Unhindered access. Access. May the Lord Almighty be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Access. You pray access. You pray. You force your way. In, 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 that, you remember the broadcast we did um, February 27th. Enforcing our names. Yes. Yes. You know, when we, after we did that broadcast, I watched it that day, and the Holy Ghost spoke, spoke to me. He said, all through the month of March, that I should watch it. That I should pray it. Prayerfully watch it. And from, from that day we did our broadcast, I have not watched any of our broadcasts like that. Every single day, by the message of God, unfailingly, I've, I've already watched it, prayed through it this morning already. Every single day, unfailingly, enforcing our names. Grant us access, because that, that was a, that, that message was a revelation from God. Enforcing our names, in the name of Jesus Christ. To create access where there is no way. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. every single day I prayed it, and by the grace of God, we do. By the grace of God, this family will, will also uh, uh, this year we decided we're, we're going to be reading the Psalms every month, every single month. So we pray the Psalms every single month in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we've just completed this morning Psalm 150, and tomorrow, by the grace of God, we'll start, start again. The Lord be glorified in Jesus' name. We well, thank God for all these and many more in Jesus' name. In the, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord. I have seen the Lord's goodness, His mercies and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Like Chimesia says, before a destruction there is a salvation, which is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. The king of peace is coming for a people of peace and not for a religion of pieces. If you are worth on, 
pray with us. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I receive you and I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, we are going into a way we have not gone before. Yes, August 2021, we have not gone there before. My Father, lead us in Jesus' name. Walk into us there before us. Walk into, into August ahead of us. Clear the way. Angels of the living God. Chiefest angels. Clear the way in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I say I receive you again. Afresh. As my Lord and Savior. Write and keep my name in the book of life. For your glory in Jesus' name. And give me your Holy Spirit to guide me. In the ways that I go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever devil is, sit, is sitting anywhere. Blowing any evil wind. Trying to blow any contrary wind. Will they turn that wind back to them? In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are well done, I've said we pray with us in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The way is coming your way in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord Jesus is going about doing wonders, He will not pass you by. And instead of death, you will go by force. Increase by force. Multiply by force. And expand the numbers by force. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Check us on YouTube. Facebook, Amazon, call us and pray for us. And on Tuesday, is it Tuesday yeah? 1.30, we'll be here. 1.30 Tuesday, we'll be doing a li another live broadcast in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus Christ and increase you on every side in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Shalom, shalom, Jerusalem. Shalom, 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 shalom. Let's go.